say great minds think alike. Michael Savage is making the right move to shift a lot of the format into life coaching because people, I was thinking about this in the shower this morning, and we're going to our guest. <sighs> we now know there's a global government. Back when we were trying to prove there's a global government and a corporate takeover, crony capitalist, anti-free market plan, back when we were trying to prove GMO was killing lab animals, back when we were trying to prove aspartame would make you go blind, back when we were trying to prove autism was increasing and linked to vaccines, Back we were trying to prove the Federal Reserve was run for profit and private. Ron Paul couldn't get one co-sponsor 18 years ago, 20 years ago. Now it's passed the House twice, set to pass the Senate to audit it and basically start abolishing it. This show, and I've told my crew this, is passe unless we really start educating people about the minutia of history, also, the big idea is getting people to think outside the New World Order box about how beautiful and big the universe is and how beautiful humanity is and how much potential we have. And then also discredit and attack the globalists. But we've gotten to the point now where most people go, yeah, man, I know you're right. What do we do about it? And more than ever, if people learn to help themselves, they'll then learn to fight tyranny. But you first got to have some success in your own life. And so... I intend to shift the format of this show, 20, 30% more, into bona fide self-help reports, factoids, kind of an encyclopedia of videos and articles on every subject. I want to go to the next level, and by the grace of God, I hope I have the energy, and I hope I have the crew to do it, and I think I do, so thank you all for your prayers. Now, that said, why are we having the food babe uh, on the show, Vani Hari? Forward by Mark Hyman, M.D., The Food Babe Way, a new book coming out in February. We're going to carry it at InfoWarsStore.com. We have an advanced copy. Break free from the hidden toxins in your food and lose weight, look years younger, and get healthier in just 21 days. She's only been around a few years, was kind of on the Obama bandwagon, woke up to that. Well-spoken, good-looking, good common sense stuff. Her campaigns working with, with alternative media and new media, we're going to skip this network break so she has more time, have been devastating. She's been having victory after victory after victory on GMO labeling, on labeling what's in the beer, on just basically everything she's done because she's reached out to the public. And they're scared of a poster girl who's well-spoken, cute, uh, funny, uh, charming, and so now they've started a demonization campaign against her. She wanted to talk some about that today, but I want to talk about it to say, good job. When you're in a bomber flying over the enemy area, that, the SAM missiles are going to be coming up, and the anti-aircraft flak is going to be coming up. You're not going to be getting flak unless you're over the target. So we'll talk about some of the new news, some of the new things she's involved in, what she's done with McDonald's getting them to change things, General Mills, Coca-Cola, Chipotle, Chick-fil-A, Kraft, Whole Foods, Mao Southwest Grill, or Mo Southwest Grill. It's gotten attention at the Democratic National Convention, U.S. Secretary of Agriculture on GMO labeling, you name it. And so what she's done is a blueprint for others to have success. Not just get up here and tell you how successful Infowars.com is. Or, or what I've been able to do, some people can't stand listening to me. Sometimes I can't stand hearing a rebroadcast. Different strokes for different folks, different views. But overall, transparency, liberty, freedom, choice, real diversity. Renaissance versus dark age. Liberty versus tyranny. Freedom versus oppression. Light instead of darkness. That's what it's all about. Helping humanity. Believing in humanity. That's what's going to save us. The establishment tells us how ugly and bad we are and how we're failed all day. And that we all need to kill each other. That's how we're going to get ahead. Turn grandma off. Have death panels. Abortions. Shoot some cops. Race war. No, no, no. If we are altruistic, upright, informed people, tyranny will vanish like phantoms at dawn, to quote Thomas Jefferson. So, food babe, foodbabe.com. Uh, Ms. Hari, great to have you back with us. Great job. Uh, I want to talk about some of the attacks you've been under and some of the demonization that's going on as the tide turns. I don't want to spend too much time on that. I want to get into some of the successes you've had and then what's coming in the future. But you can really feel the wave that you and others are riding, that this show is riding with our health news. People are really waking up. They're pulling the fructose 
corn syrup out of most things, the candy, you name it, uh, the, the, the ketchup. I mean, everywhere I turn, the bisphenol A is getting taken out. There is such a huge awakening happening, and you're right there at the tip of the spear, so we salute you. Thank you so much for having me on here, Alex. I really appreciate it. I'm really excited to be back here because, you know, uh, as you know, you know, when I launched certain petitions, you you fielded my uh, research first, and I know that had a huge impact in getting these companies to change. And so, you know, one of the things that's been happening as of late is, you know, and this is something that I didn't realize because, you know, I didn't set out to be an activist. It was really an accident that it happened. And it was my own um, weight issues, it was my own health issues, and just feeling really terrible about myself that eventually allowed me to have this wake up call, this light bulb moment to take control over my health and say no to what the food industry was telling me and the professionals were telling me and use some basic common sense. And that's the message behind all of the activism that I've been a part of, which is we need to have transparency about what we are eating and we need the food chemicals and the food additives that the food industry is using to make us addictive and to make food taste better than it should and to make the food industry's pockets richer out of our food because what that is doing is it's providing no nutritional benefit to the consumer and it's only providing benefit to the food industry. And what we see, the alarming rates of obesity and cancer and heart disease and diabetes, there is something that needs to be done. And right now the food industry has gone completely unregulated. I mean, they have self-regulation when it comes to approving these additives at the FDA level. Which are really drugs, which is their big secret that makes them addictive. Your, your camera switch from external mic to internal, I'm gonna give you a moment to try to switch to external or because uh, you're you're uh, got really bad reverb and I want folks to be able to hear what you have to say. Spend about a minute working on that. We're going to come back to you. Let me read to you some of the successes she's had with campaigns. She started with a website and her activism with Facebook and other platforms uh, just a couple years ago. And she's also thanked this broadcast. You, the listeners, deserve a big part of that credit. She's launched a bunch of these campaigns on this show. So I'm very proud of our listeners. Cheerios. Removing GMO sugar from original uh, Cheerios. Chick-fil-A announced plans to serve chicken raised without antibiotics in all of its restaurants within five years and is now phasing that in. Subway removed a chemical, it's basically plastic, I can't even pronounce it, from their bread. That became a big national story. Pizza Hut, Bimbo Bakeries, Martin's Potato Bread, Nature's Own, Olive Garden, Starbucks, and Publix Grocery Store have announced they also have removed it. Uh, and that was an InfoWars exclusive. Uh, Panera Bread announced it will remove artificial colors, flavors, sweeteners, preservatives, uh, starting basically now, next year. Anheuser-Busch and Miller um, Brewing, uh, as well as Kurz, announced that they will publish ingredients for the first time and did in June of 2014. And we helped her launch that. Very proud of our listeners there. You did it. Starbucks uh, told the press that they are working on removing class four caramel coloring from their drinks and considering listing ingredients on their website. They've now done that. White Wave, who owns Silk Horizon, announced plans to remove all of these different types of chemicals from their products. GMO labeling initiative in Oregon lost only by 837 votes. Wall Street Journal reported that more meat manufacturers are dumping antibiotics. Powerful entities have a financial incentive to try to discredit me, this is her writing, in the work that the Food Babe Army is doing to secure a healthy, unpolluted food supply. Uh, Vance Crow, the director of uh, Millennials at Monsanto, says he is, quote, paid to stop fear and called Vani Hari a snake oil salesman. Massive Monsanto advertising campaign in Oprah Magazine, Food Network, etc. to counter her. Companies have spent over $105 million to fight GMO labeling. I mean, if they're so great, just let us know. And then it just goes on. If they are spending this much money to hide our right to know if they are eating GMOs, then why wouldn't they spend some more money to hire people to discredit me and others in this movement? And we're having so many other victories. Please continue uh, breaking this down, food babe. Hey, thank you so much. You know, what's really interesting is that the media has tried to spin this to make it a story about me 
and not a story about the food industry. They want to take the focus off what the food industry has been doing and getting away with and make the story about me. They want to call me a fear monger. You know, what's more scary, not knowing what we're eating or continuing allowing these food chemists, these food companies and these giant chemical companies continue to pollute our food right under our noses without us having the right to know. You know, what's more scary and who do you trust? Do you trust the food industry that wants you to buy their products? Do you trust the food chemists that develop these additives? Are you trusting the director of millennials, Vance Crow, at Monsanto for messaging? I mean, he has literally stated verbatim on Twitter that he is paid to take down snake oil salesmen like myself. He calls me a snake oil salesman. I mean, that someone who is promoting organic, non GMO food. Food without these additives, food that other countries have safeguarded their citizens for, food that these same companies have taken out these additives for other people in other countries, and going after me and going after this message. And when they come after me, when they say that looking at food ingredients is fear mongering or that knowing about what's in your food is taking it too far, it leads to an eating disorder. What they're doing is they're trying to discredit the entire real food movement. And right now people are fed up. They want these additives out of their food. They want more access to real food and they want access to healthier food. And they don't want to be conned by what's on the label. I mean, just look at Subway. Subway for years was telling you to eat fresh by eating at their stores. Meanwhile, they're putting plasticizers in their bread. We need to really rise up together and we need to hold these food companies accountable. And that's what I've made my mission to do. And it's because of the health issues that I turned around. I mean, I went from six to eight prescription drugs to zero when I started looking at the ingredients in my food and moving towards an organic, non-GMO, real food diet. And in my book, The Food Babe Way, which you guys have an advanced copy, but this book is gonna give people the plan, the tactics, the habits, everything they need to know in order to navigate this over-processed world we live in where the food industry is making the conversation out there. They're the ones deciding what to put on Food Network during the commercial break. I mean, the fact that Monsanto has had to go on this massive PR campaign, putting ads in Oprah magazine, putting ads on the radio and on Pandora station. I mean, it's everywhere. And the fact that they've had to hire people to physically and literally go after activists like myself and Vanda Nashiva and so many others proves that they are losing this debate. They are losing this game. The consumers want access to real food that isn't tainted with their chemicals. And we're gonna rise up because together, I know we're gonna be able to change the industry. Um, One of the things that's in this book, The Food Babe Way, is Dr. Mark Hyman actually wrote the foreword. And something that he says in the foreword is just, it it gives me chills every time I read it. And that's, if everybody were to follow the habits in The Food Babe Way, the food industry as we know it today would crumble. And a new innovation and new creativity would take root. And that's what I'm looking for is a system that we can all be part of and we can eat because we don't have a choice not to eat food. And we can be healthy as a nation together and reverse the, the, the rise of disease. I'll continue. We're about to go to break, but I, mean, I want to talk more about the big successes you've had when we come back, but uh, continue. Yeah, you know, what's really interesting is what they're doing is they're taking a play right out of the tobacco playbook. Back in the 1970s, they said that the consumer advocates, the ones that were speaking out against secondhand smoke, were causing smokeophobia and cancerophobia. And these were the same scientists that worked for Harvard Medical School that went on record in front of Congress and said, you know what? We don't have the scientific data that shows that secondhand smoking causes cancer, but we all know how that ended. 
And what I'm saying here is that the media needs to look at the scientists that are looking at the food additives from an independent perspective, not the people who belong to the IFT that are funded by Monsanto and Kraft and Coca-Cola, etc. Well, how dare you speak out, food babe? You're terrible. We'll have to demonize you. Stay there. I'm Alex Jones, folks. We're on the mark.